lose bonding and we go independent. We can't receive, we dissociate it. And when you can't receive, what do you do? You, as we say in Hawaii, you cockroach. You pretend you don't need anything, but you take. Now, anybody here ever felt hurt in their life or heartbroken? <laughs> I once wrote a book, 800 pages on heartbreak, and they sent it back to me and go, this is a brick. I go, it may be from A to Z on heartbreak, but we can't. I go, but you're going to take out all the stories and all the examples? They go, we have to get a book that's only 400 pages. You can't get more than that. Nobody will ever read it. You can't be hurt unless you're trying to take something, unless you're trying to get something. And you try to get something because you lost your bonding, because you broke away, because you wanted to do it your way. So now you're caught in this taking thing. You want to give, but you're trying to take. You, it's impossible to feel rejected or hurt unless you're trying to get something. That's subconscious principle right there. That was part of the essence of the book, If It Hurts, It Isn't Love. If you can give up taking, if you can give up attack, you'll be well on your way to recovering yourself. Because when you become harmless, when you become benign, you're open to receiving. And grace can just pour into you. And love can just pour into you. And God's love, which is inside you, can fill your